nerds! Hi yogis, Carlene Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a magic wrist flow. So if you are a gamer, you're probably spending a lot of time on either a controller or a computer. Um, so definitely helpful to stretch out and work out those wrists. Also just from daily life. So if you're working at a desk, if you're on your phone a lot, um, even exercises and doing yoga can put a lot of pressure on your wrists. Um, now a lot of yoga poses will help stretch your wrists out so you shouldn't have too many issues as long as you are paying attention to kind of the alignment of your wrist. Um, but it's still good to know some wrist stretches, wrist, uh, wrist stretches and strengthening just because you want to take care of your wrist. You don't want those to hurt. And you can use this as kind of its own little flow. It's only going to be a few minutes. Or you can just kind of remember um, some of your favorite moves from today's flow and use them whenever you want. So first thing we're gonna do, I'm just sitting comfortably here on my knees, just come to a, a comfortable seated position, whatever that means for you today. We're not really gonna focus on our breath or anything like that. It's really just focusing on a couple of wrist stretches, learning how those work. First one we're gonna do today, if you have nails, uh, be careful not to stab yourself. All you wanna do is get some circulation and blood flow through the hands and through the wrists. So you're gonna start by just clenching your fists, got really intense fists of fire here holding it for just a few moments, and then opening your wrist. Now when you open your hands, you don't want to just kind of open them, like put strength into it, really extending out through your fingers, really reaching, and then fists again. You're just doing it for a few seconds each one. Open, like spirit fingers. Yeah. And a couple more rounds here. You can almost think of it like Captain Marvel fists, you know, her fists get all glowy and fiery. That's, that's what we want when we're doing this one. Open. And last time here. Now I've got some blood flow movement, which should feel good. All right, you can shake that out and just kind of notice how that's already starting to get energy into that area, which is nice. Uh, next kind of stretch that we're going to do, so take your right hand, just kind of place that in front of you, take your left hand, um, palms touch, and you're just going to gently press your fingers on the right hand back towards you. Um, be careful when you're doing this, I'll kind of turn to the side so you can see, you don't want to lock out your arm, just kind of nice gentle bend in your arm, you don't want this to be super intense, you don't have to worry about your wrist being at a certain um, like angle here. For example, for me, if I go like past 90 degrees, that actually can hurt because of how my joints all are together. So you just want to start getting that first edge of stretch. And just gently opening that up and then flip it around. So you're stretching out now the tops of your forearms and wrist. Awesome, and you'll take it on the other side. So left arm extends out in front of you, right hand clasps on top. And again, you can have your knee, your arms even super bent and have them close to you here. That can even sometimes get you a little bit better stretch, a little bit deeper stretch. And it can sometimes be more comfortable. So whatever is going to be best for you. And then swap it around. So now you've got fingertips pointing down. Right hand still hooks over top of the left and gently pulling fingertips away to get that stretch. Very nice. And again, you can have your arms bent that's a little bit easier. The point is we're stretching our wrists, getting into our forearms a little bit. So that's where you want to feel it. But again, you don't want to go too far. So just find that first edge, kind of play the edge of stretch there. Now interlace your fingers. So we've got fingers gripping. You're just going to rotate your palms, or I guess your wrists and hands in one direction, and then circle them the other. So you're getting movement in all directions in the wrists. You can do that a few times, circling one way circling the other, and then once you've got some good movement from the circles, you can just extend, really pressing out through your palms. Fingers are still interlaced or interlocked here. You can probably feel the stretch even up into your arms. And you'll notice as you stretch your wrists, you're typically stretching out your forearms at least, and sometimes into the upper arm as well. Very nice, you can shake that out. And then we'll take it a little bit deeper using the floor. Now with this, um, you can do this at a desk if you're standing too. Again, you want to be really mindful of the alignment of your wrists when we're doing these ones and make sure you're not putting too much pressure. The idea is just to get a gentle stretch to stretch out the muscles. We don't want to cause any 
injuries or issues. So to start, let's take bottoms or tops of the hands, placing them down. Now this is typically, you know, typically when we're doing at a workouts or at a desk, we're bending our wrist this way. So it's good to get the stretch from the top of the wrist. So from here, and if you're on your knees, you can play with how far forward you want to lean and how far back you want to sit. The idea is you have your wrists on the ground. Fingers can be spread out wide. You do want to ground the tops of your hands firmly into the earth and kind of start leaning back, feeling that stretch. Now I'm double jointed in my elbows, so if you have the same thing, you can kind of mess around with moving your elbows to see what that stretch um, feels best as. And then same thing, flip it around. So if you have fingertips now, facing you and you can play with bent elbows here and again just having that good alignment firmly planting your hands into the earth or into the desk if you're doing this standing and just gently leaning back towards that first edge of stretch and then you can fingertips to the side now this one you've got you can play around with having your hands a little closer if that feels better Hands can be a little wider, but again, strong fingertips into the earth. We still want to make sure we have good groundedness when we're doing these. And again, you can mess with, play around with, does this feel better with bent elbows? Or like me, I'm double jointed, so I can kind of rotate them and feel what is best. And you can gently, once you find a good positioning for the arms, gently rock back and forth to deepen that stretch in the forearms a bit. Them. Once you've had enough there, you're going to come onto a more of a standing position. We'll start in a forward fold here. So really sitting low into your heels, really bent knees. Take your hands and place them under your feet. And this one obviously you probably only want to do if you're actually doing yoga flow or at home. We don't do this with shoes on, but hands underneath your feet. This is going to create some nice um, pressure, kind of like massage pressure in the hands. Again, it's stretching out our wrist kind of the opposite direction of normal. You can play with bending your elbows here as well and just extending to that first edge of stretch. And this one, you do want to try rotating your elbows to your legs towards your shin. If they wing out like this, you're not really getting much of a stretch. So think about rotating your elbows towards your shins and then you can play with having uh, more extended arms or more bent arms. And gently release that and from here bending your knees really deeply sitting into your heels roll yourself in and up come into a standing position for these last couple of poses exercise movements whatever you want to call them um, this kind of next flow part is kind of like how we did the first one where it's thinking about energy and extending through your fingers it'll be like that as well so we want the energy coming from our fingers reaching long and we'll add some movement to it. You can of course do this sitting as well. We'll just come to standing for now. So come into a comfortable standing position, extend your arms out in front of you, fingertips pointing down. So we've got our fingertips reaching already starting to feel the stretch on the tops of our wrists and our forearms. And here just gonna circle, keeping that extension, keeping those spirit fingers circling around and extending now fingertips facing the floor, but palms are facing out. So really reaching and extending your arms to the side. You'll feel it all the way up your inner arm. And from here, you can practice rotating. Just getting some rotation, some movement in the wrists. If you're really reaching with strong fingertips and strong palms, you will be feeling this. <laughs> so you end it down, awesome. Pull it back in, rotating palms face back down. So we'll do that a couple more times. So now palms are facing towards you, reaching towards the earth, getting that stretch to create the space to then extend your fingertips out long in front of you. Palms facing out this time, extending open, getting that rotation. Feeling it all the way up your arm, probably. 
You can even bring the palms back down and up and just continue if you want a little bit more of a flow. You just kind of do that a few times. You can extend them forward with palms facing you again. And from here, kind of the last movement we'll do is the magic wrist clear. Um, I'll do this a lot of times in my yoga flows. You can do it anytime. It's a great way to release any tension in your wrists. Basically, you start by just giving yourself a little bit of forearm massage. All of these muscles here connect into the hands, so forearm massage is great. And then when you get to the wrist, you can circle the wrist one way and then the other, but think about kind of pulling the wrist, not too intensely, just a gentle pull away from the forearm. It's going to give you a little bit of traction, create a bit more space in all those joints. And then switch sides, a little forearm massage again. When you get to the wrist, circle it one direction and then the other. And think about just pulling the wrist gently away from the forearm. Obviously, as you pull it, you don't want to move the arm. So keeping the forearm where it is, pulling the wrist gently away to give you that traction as you massage it out a little. So those are some great wrist stretches for you to do at any time. You can, like I said, you can do it as a flow. I do hope that you enjoyed that. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can see all the, the next videos that come out. And I've got exclusive content for you in the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list. So make sure you sign up below. To end today's practice though, you're just gonna ground into the earth, strong palms, inhaling all the way up, reaching up with your fingertips, and exhale, hands come to heart center, namaste, and just feel how good those wrists feel. See you next time.